Hey, all right, my first Dunkin' Donuts bike night. Oh, this is so exciting. I cannot wait to hang out with like-minded riders, get out on the road and crush some miles. Dude, this is gonna be so awesome. Hey, uh, guy, can you help me out here? Uh, when are we riding out? Oh yeah, that's cool, brother. But before we do that, come over here and look at my bike, brother. I want to show you it. I got a really sweet bike, brother. Um, cool? Let me tell you about it, all right? So check this out. This is a 2020 Street Glide Special Brother. And it's not just any Street Glide Special Brother. Let me tell you, I've got a 32 inch chrome front rim on that. Oh, let me tell you, brother, this is a beautiful bike. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Sure, cool. And uh, I got the 131 big ball kit. I got a performance exhaust, two in the one, brother. It turns out it's super loud, brother. And then, uh, you know, I got the stretch bags, the stretch tank. I got the custom paint job. Look at that, brother. It just looks awesome. And not even just that, I got a custom stitch seat, brother. I got the digital gauges. I got all LEDs. I got the 18 inch ape hangers, brother. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, the meat hooks, brother. So about that ride. Oh, we're not even done there, brother. I got a 6,000 watt stereo system, brother, because I need you, me, and everyone in a 10 block radius to hear Freebird, brother. So, you know, I'm just, I'm rocking that out, brother. We just do it, brother. Um, cool. Let me tell you, brother, with this performance tune, this bike just hauls. It tears down the streets. I got 200 miles on this thing already, brother. 200 miles, that really doesn't sound like a lot, especially for 2020. I mean, do you even ride this bike? What are you talking about, brother? I ride all the time. It's not my fault Dunkin' Donuts is only three miles from my house and the performance shop that does all my work is only two miles away, brother. But I tell you, I am always riding this. Every Wednesday I'm here, brother. And then every Friday I'm down at the performance shop getting more parts put on, brother. I just ride, ride, ride. It is insane how much I ride, brother. I don't know, man. I, I definitely got more miles on my bike than 200. That's a little... Look, don't come over here with your attitude, brother. I got underwear older than you. I've been riding forever. I've been riding my whole life, brother. So don't even try and tell me how good you are at riding, how many miles you got, brother. I've got way more and I will one up you every single time you talk, brother. All right, this has been fantastic, but I'm gonna go over here. So uh, I'll catch you later, bro. I'll, I'll catch you on the ride. <laughs> yeah, I'm just over, over here, over here. Yeah, what's up, guy? Come on over. Let me tell you about the Boosa, bro. We're gonna be doing this because this Boosa got power, bro. This thing is hella fast, bro. Like, yeah, bro, we just snap fast, bro. What's up, Boosa? In the house, represent. Oh yeah, Boosas, they go really fast if you're grading on a curve when it comes to all the super bikes out there. But yeah, dude, that sounds awesome. So uh, what's up with your bike? Are we gonna go riding? Let me tell you, bro, this Boosa is so fast. It smokes grandpa's bike over there. Yeah, <laughs> what's up, bro? Wait, what now? Nah, nah, let me tell you, this Boosa is a panty dropper, bro. It's a panty dropper? Nah, nah, it drops all the panties, bro. Um, but how many panties has it actually dropped? Nah, this is definitely a panty dropper, bro. It just drops panties. You will not believe how it does it. Like I turn the bike on and all of a sudden just boom, panties dropping everywhere. I can't keep up. It's like, woo, panty, panty, panties, panties. They're just flying, bro. They're just dropping. No, but how many panties has it really dropped? Well, well, none yet, but uh, it, it could. It could if it wanted to. It could definitely drop panties if it wanted to. It just doesn't feel like it. Yeah, sure, sure. Tell you what, this has been an exciting chat. Fantastic, fantastic, loved it, loved, but I'm gonna go over here. So uh, I'll see you on the ride. Uh, yeah. Well, we, Drop the panties if we wanted to. Oh, hey guy, that's a nice looking bike. So what do you got there? Oh, if I have to tell you what kind of bike it is, it's far too sophisticated for you. You just wouldn't be able to comprehend it.
Well, that sounds a little condescending, but yeah, you know, tell me about it. Tell me uh, what you got on this bike. What's What makes it so special? I'd love to learn about it. Oh, if you have to ask, this bike just isn't for you. It is far too superior for your minuscule little brain to wrap its head around. It's far, far too smart for you. Yeah, that's some pretty douchey responses there, guy. I bet you're the type of dude who definitely likes the smell of his own farts. Probably, uh, you know, hot boxing yourself to sleep every night, just pulling the covers up, Dutch oven, whatever. You know, I, that's cool, that's cool, whatever, man. It's not that I think I'm better than you, it's that I know I'm better than you. Simply look at my bike, and you'll know this too. So you're just not gonna tell me anything about this bike whatsoever, huh? <sighs> I'd like to explain it to you, but I don't know how to speak in emojis. So there's no words I could use that you would actually understand. You're just bourgeois. Okay, okay, I, you know what? Whatever, dude, I'm just gonna go over here. All right, look, guys, is anyone, anyone here going out for a ride? All right, look, brother, let's just uh, you know, get it out there. We don't actually ride here, brother. We just show up and then we stand around and we talk about our bikes, brother. And we talk about all the rides that we're not going on, brother. That's what we do at a bike night, brother. We just show up and we look at bikes, brother. So why don't you calm down a little, brother? Go order yourself a coffee and come back out here and tell us about your bike, brother. <laughs> ride? No, we don't ride. We pull up and we show our bikes and how glorious they are and how much better they are than all those bikes over there. Nah, bro, nah, we don't ride here. We just bring the bikes out and drop them panties. Wow, bike nights kind of suck. All right, look guys, um, this is fun. I'm glad that you're all just comparing dick sizes and you're having a great time at it, but I'm gonna go for a ride, so I will see you guys all later. What's, What's his problem? problem? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, honestly, just a little bit of fun, so you guys going to bike nights, calm down. Calm down. Um, honestly, I really like the concept of bike nights. Um, I mean, there's some really cool bikes out there, especially when you get into the, like the bike nights where people are bringing out like some seriously custom stuff or some wicked old school stuff. That is just awesome. Um, however, it is kind of weird just to go somewhere, park your bike, and talk about your bike and that's it. It's a it's a weird flex. It really is. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I try and do it every now and then, but it's it's hard to get the motivation to drive somewhere just to park and not do anything. I don't know, whatever. What do you guys think of bike nights? Throw it down below. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with that one dork you know who's got a cafe racer that feels he is far better than everyone else because he has a cafe racer. That dumbass loves this stuff. Trust me, and I'll see you all on the flip side.